Hello world, welcome back to another Pico Gym workout exercise video. In this video, we'll be walking through the web exploitation challenge, Trickster. Let's get into it. I found a web app that can help process images, PNG images only. Try it here. Okay, so let's open up the website they give us. And it says, welcome to my PNG processing app. And it looks like we can select a PNG and upload a file. But before we do that, we're going to duplicate the tab here. And we're going to go to robots.txt. And we can see that we have some paths that are potentially accessible to us here. Let's go to instructions.txt. And it says, let's create a web app for PNG images processing. It needs to allow users to upload PNG images, look for .png extension in the submitted files, Make sure the magic bytes match. Not sure what this is exactly, but Wikipedia says that the first few bytes contain PNG and hexadecimal, 54E47. After validation, store the uploaded files so that the admin can retrieve them later and do the necessary processing. Okay, well, the location that they're going to be uploaded in is obviously going to be the slash uploads directory because it can be implied from the path that gives us in the robots.txt file and we can craft our payload based on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a shell.png.php. Remember, whatever the last extension is, is what's going to determine what the actual extension of the file is. You can have dots within the file name itself, but the last dot is what determines the file extension. So we'll run that in the background. And remember, all it's doing is looking for the .png extension. It doesn't say it has to be in a specific spot in the file name. Now it's looking for magic byte headers. So all we really need to do is put PNG up there because that's what it alludes to here, is that we just need those bytes as the header bytes in the file. And then we're going to create our PHP payload. So we'll do PHP system dollar sign underscore get. And you can put whatever you want in here as long as it reflects what you're going to use as the injectable variable inside the URL address. And then we'll close it off here. And what this is essentially doing is it's creating a little web shell for us that we can send commands to on the back end. And then we get the results back of those commands because system runs those commands on the back end. So we'll save that and we'll go to our file upload page and we'll browse for our new file here. We'll select all files so that our PHP file shows up. Select that, click upload file. File uploaded successfully and is a valid PNG file. We shall process it and get back to you, hopefully. So that message all but confirms that our PHP script went through successfully. And now we should be able to actually navigate to it. Like so. It says undefined array key CMD. We actually need to populate that parameter by doing question mark CMD equals, and we'll just start off with LS. And we can see our magic bytes that we put into the file there, as well as the name of our shell script. And that's because we're located in the uploads directory. So if we want to see something that's one directory above us, we can do LS dot dot. And we can see our index.php file, instructions.txt, robots.txt, uploads directory. And right here is probably going to be our flag. But instead of doing cat on that, I'll just do cat dot dot slash star because I'm lazy. And what that's going to do is just print out any file that's in that parent directory. And there's our flag, certified expert trickster. We'll copy that. Paste it in and submit. All right. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Alma Milt. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.